Well now, what you want to do in a topology sense is actually you want everything, the uh, all the polys to be as square as possible. You don't want really long polys. As you can see here, I have these really long ones. Um, and that doesn't make sense really, so we'll uh, we'll try to get this fish much more curved. I'm going to add maybe th about three. That's mouse wheel, by the way. Control R, escape. Um, Control R, and then the mouse wheel allows you to add multiple loop cuts. So that gives a fairly good feeling. Now uh, I'm going to grab this uh, Alt plus left mouse button, grabs that whole loop, and then Control V brings up your vertices menu, and I'm going to say smooth vertex. Smooth vertex. I'm having troubles here. Something's going on. Oh, I guess I lost connection with a mouse or something. Um, smooth vertex. And then over here you can see I did one smooth iteration. So if I just pump that up, it'll smooth that out quite nicely. And that was maybe a little bit too much. So we'll go back right there. That's pretty good. And then I'm going to Alt, left mouse, select that, this edge, and do the same thing, smooth vertex. The other thing you can do uh, is hit F6, and it'll bring up this, this menu. F6 does the last action you always did. So I use it all the time. I find it faster than going over here to the left-hand side of the screen, where the last action is always shown. So whichever you'd like to do. So F6 does the last action and then I can kind of repeat or change what happened there. Kind of smooth that out. And once again, I'm going to grab this line. Oh, it looks like it's, I might have to select these vertices individually. Um, if you don't like your widget here, or if it's getting in your way, control space will turn it on and off, or you can just press this button right here. So I can turn that off and then Select those, control V, smooth vertex, F6, kind of bring those in. Okay, let's look at our poly budget so far. I'm, I'm shooting for 1,500 triangles. Up here, you can see our vertices, our edges, and our faces. The zero means zero vertices selected. If I select, you know, two, we'll say two vertices selected. And one edge selected, because I got that edge in the middle. If I go into edge select mode, one edge selected two edges, three edges selected out of 261 total edges. Looks like I have 119 faces. Um, so zero out of 119 faces selected. If I do my two edges and then go into vertices select, now it should say one. One out of 119 faces. So uh, we're doing pretty low here, but what I've modeled here has all been in quads, so actually our triangles are going to be double that. What we can do is select everything and hit Control T to tri triangulate everything. Now that triangulates everything, and that's how the game engine is going to see this. So our faces are uh, 238. So Control Z, I like quads. Quads are easier for sculpting. Really, the last step you want is. Uh, to triangulate. So thinking in quads, I need to keep this under about 750 quads if I'm going to make that 1500 limit. So anyway, um, so I'm, I'm well under that. Um, let's... I'm going to hit hide really quick so I can look at my model a little bit better. It almost looks like uh, this is kind of like a, like a ridge, and I should actually pull the main model, the body model, right in. 
a little bit. Okay, Alt H to bring that body back. And I'm going to pull that body, those body pieces right in here. Kind of straighten up this so the curves are nice and straight. Same over here. Kind of pull these in so they don't look so so goofy. Kind of want my edge loops to be nice and curved. Um, and over here, maybe pull that back in. It's looking a little bit period. We'll uh, focus on your selection. Uh, by the way, that's the numpad period. The regular period will not work. That's a different hotkey. So go in here. And actually, I'm just going to select all these here and kind of use Control V. So that was a, a paint select with C. Control V, smooth vertex here. Kind of just smooth these guys out so they don't look so nasty. Looks like I, when I scaled that up, it uh, pulled it in to the center a little bit too much, and it clipped that in. So here's where I'm going to turn that clipping off and pull this back out. And then turn that clipping back on. Okay. And these guys, this is kind of a weird edge, so I'm just going to select all around that edge. Control B, smooth vertex. There we go. Now my fish is looking a little bit, a little more fish-like, yeah? Okay.